Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. The Great Exhibition took place over 80 years before the invention of the first synthetic fibers, so it is no surprise the use of animal skins in fashion was widespread. A major dealer in animal fashion was John Augustus Nicolay and son of Oxford Street, London. They had a large display area in the nave. We do not know the exact layout of their exhibits so the simulation includes examples of the type of item they exhibited. Here is a set of leopard fur skins. Below this, left to right. Two examples of the leopard cat found in South Southeast and East Asia. Next the eastern chipmunk from North America, the Indian palm squirrel from India and Ceylon, now Sri Lanka, the Siberian chipmunk native from Central Russia to China, Korea and Northern Japan. Two examples of the common brushtail possum from Australia, introduced to New Zealand in the 1850s to establish a fur industry, it is now regarded as a pest. On the other side of this stand we have a full-size zebra hide. This is a Hartman's Mountain zebra from what is now Angola and Namibia. Below this, left to right. Siberian grey wolf. Two examples of Jeffroy's cat from southern and central South America. Harp seal. A pup as it is a white coat, common ringtail possum from Australia. Turning left, we see a number of hides hanging from the gallery rail. Pride of place in the center of Nicolet's display area is given to a tiger skin, this example being a Sumatran tiger. Several of these images are provided by J. Wood Leathers. To the right, Ginger Highland. To the left, the next two are prints on cow hide, zebra and jaguar, then a calf hide. Next to this, image provided by cowhide rugs. The remaining hide images are provided by Viking dragon, a boar skin, and at the other end a sheep fleece and reindeer hide. Taxidermy became popular in Victorian times, so it is no surprise that fur dealers used examples to decorate their stands. Here are examples of wolf leopard raccoon and antelope. Inside this cabinet, by George Smith and Sons of Watling Street, are fur coats, to the right links. The other three are examples of mink. Join me for my next video, when we will look at Prince Albert's model houses.